We're gonna start learning about some other cultures in America, and we're gonna do that through research. You ready? When I first got here, it became very clear very quickly that um, while they may be teaching Jake all of the subjects that he needs, all of the history and social studies that I saw, you know, none of it focused on other countries. So I'm gonna read through this, and it says, American culture encompasses the customs and traditions of the United States. Then it goes on to say, the United States is one of the most culturally diverse countries in the world, most notably the English who colonized the country beginning in the early 1600s. U.S. culture has also been shaped by the cultures of Native Americans, Latin Americans, Africans, and Asians. There's still this idea stuck in her head that my wife and I don't know about other cultures. I am gonna let her do her thing, but if I see something that makes me concerned, I will step in, I will say something. Mexican Americans often serve as high government officials, as well as local mayors, sheriffs, and school board members. They're not Mexican Americans, they're Americans. Mm -hmm. You're right, they're just of Mexican descent. That's why they call them Mexican Americans. Yep. We flip wanna... that in our house. American. Americans of Mexican descent. I have no problems with learning about other cultures, but my concern is that Amanda will try to indoctrinate him with the whole, you know, oh, these are Mexican American, no. My husband and I have this conversation a lot, and you know, if somebody asks him, where are you from, he says Cuba. Yeah, that's the problem. Go back there and live if that's how you feel. I mean, that's the, the, the definition of nationalism. I don't think he and would ever say he was American Cuban. See, and, and I do take offense to that. Oh, we want to honor Cuba first. That's disrespectful. Again, not Cuba, our well, family. Well, the Cuban, we find that very offensive. It's disrespectful. And that's where you get a lot of the attitude that y'all are probably seeing now where people are saying, ship them back. I, I don't think so. I think people have those feelings anyway. That's not true. That is racist. I am not interested in co continuing this conversation with Paul anymore. Let's get back to learning about some Mexican history so we can make this poster, okay? All right, let's see. So here it says that by the next two generations, more than 25% of U.S. population will be of Latin American origin. Back at the Rodriguez residence, Jennifer makes a final attempt at enforcing her no politics rule while preparing dinner for Sally and the kids. Dinner is gonna be any minute now, as soon as your dad comes back down. Cinco. Seis. You know, coming from the family that I come from, when we sit down and we eat, we talk about big topics because as family, we're together, we can share feelings in a safe place. It's gonna be real hard for me to not talk about politics. Um. So it got quiet. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> this might sound crazy. I would have never had someone who voted for Trump in my house before this swap. Mm, wow. Just because because it has gotten so divisive that, you know. But I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. I need to remind myself that Jennifer does not want me to have those conversations. I'm terrible. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of fruit? Probably strawberries. But well, you're eating your favorite fruit. Right? I know, and I'm happy. I was such a picky eater. And then, like, I started dating eat? girls, and I was like, yeah, I'll try it, you know, thinking I was cool. And then I started liking everything. I knew it. What? I, I just dated your mom. I didn't date any girls before your mom. <laughs> you said girlfriend. <laughs> I got to know the family a little bit better. I hope that Sally understands that that's what I was trying to do when I said no political talk today. Do you guys want butter on your bread? Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. 